Welcome in, Laker fans, to FaceTime Friday. I'm your host, Jack Angelucci. Let's meet our student athlete panel for this week. Hi, everyone. My name is Alexis Soriano. I'm a senior here at Mercyhurst. Uh, I'm, a, I'm on the wrestling team. And my major is biology, and I'm from Perth Amboy, New Jersey. Hi, I'm Kenzie Schroeder. I'm an Intel major on the women's lacrosse team. I am a junior, and I am from Savage, Minnesota. Hi, I'm Taryn Baxter. I'm a sophomore here. I'm on the women's soccer team. Uh, my major is undecided still, but I'm from Spokane, Washington. All right, guys. Well, thanks, first of all, for coming on the show. Uh, Kenzie, we'll start with you for this first one. Uh, do you feel as if, you know, coming back this um, fall, there's some more energy and excitement to the return to campus than normal just because of, you know, everything that happened in the spring? Yeah, I definitely think especially with how our season got cut short specifically in the spring, three games in and having to get sent home. And it definitely hit our team very hard. I definitely think the energy coming into this fall season with the time and practices we have have been really good and energy and positive kind of vibes have been really high. And I think we're all just excited to be back on the field and to do what we came to do, especially because, a lot of things were up in the air during the summer and we weren't sure if we were going to be able to. Taryn, same question to you. What's kind of the energy been like to get back on campus, especially after that, you know, hectic spring semester we all had? Well, we're all just really excited to be back and we know that other um, schools in our conference aren't able to even come back to school at all. And um, we have a lot of internationals and so them being able to come back was really exciting and we just love being around each other and having a good time at practice. Alexis, same same question to you. Uh, definitely, the excitement was definitely there. Uh, everybody was c going crazy to come back to school. And as she mentioned before, a lot of schools just shut down completely. Uh, it's a little harder for wrestling, trying to get back on the mat with the whole situation going on. But definitely happy to be back. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will agree with me. And Alexis, yeah, I, I agree. I think that's kind of the consensus going around campus. We'll start this one with you because... Uh, you've been here the longest as a senior. Um, what has been the toughest change to kind of get adjusted to this semester with all the new protocols and stuff that have been put in place? Uh, I mean, when I went home in March, when the season got cut short and school shut down and everything, uh, wearing the mask was a big change. It's like it's become normalized now. Uh, probably coming back to school, one of the biggest changes is I don't know, just wiping down the desk and your seats and everything, you know, before and after. It's a little tedious, but I can see why we do it. Taryn, what's been the toughest thing to adjust to this year for you uh, in your second year here? Um, well, I would say at practice how it's, it's kind of weird that you can't, like, get close to each other. So with drills or anything like that, you have to make sure that you stay six feet apart. And it's really weird to play soccer without being able to tackle anyone or anything like that. Kenzie? I would say the biggest adjustment has been playing lacrosse with a mask on, especially with our goggles. My whole face is basically covered during practice. So that's definitely been a really big adjustment considering I'm only used to my eyes being covered. But in the classroom, I think my biggest thing has been that I'm with teachers and professors that I know online, but I know I'll never meet probably in person due to health reasons and because of the pandemic. So that's been kind of interesting because I chose Mercyhurst because of the interactions you get with faculty. And it's obviously been going well so far, but definitely weird to look at them through a screen and think, would you recognize me on campus? or just through the computer screen. Right. Yeah, definitely. I, I agree that I agree with that too. Uh, Taryn, this for, this one's for you first. Uh, our last one before we get to the rapid fire uh, second segment here. Um, what are your goals for yourself and your team as you guys prepare to hopefully uh, have a season um, this next semester? Well, for me personally, I try and get out on the field whenever I can and uh, go in the gym whenever I can. Um, and for our team, I know it's just we have a big team this year. So meeting everyone, I think, is the biggest challenge because uh, we're all separated into our pods. So I think when we finally like get to be all together, that will really be the biggest accomplishment is getting to know each other. Alexis, heading into your senior year, what are, what are your goals for yourself and your team? Uh, well, the routine hasn't changed. I'm still trying to get after it. I'm pretty sure 
all of my teammates are trying to get after it. Uh, just trying to make small adjustments just to hopefully we can have a season and just compete hard and try to win, try to win it all. And Kenzie, you mentioned how your season got cut short last spring. Um, so heading into this um, spring semester, hopefully being able to play, what are the goals uh, for your, your squad? I think overall team goals with being cut short is kind of finishing what we started. Our 2020 season had a lot of like big things and potential highlights that we didn't get to finish because of COVID and kind of playing out for those seniors that didn't get to finish their senior year who have helped grow our program successful successfully. Uh, I would say for myself, I think my own personal goal is to remember what it felt like to get a season taken away because I think as athletes, you're always told, oh, it could be taken away. You never know when your last day is. And I definitely thought that was a joke and that it actually happened to me. Um, so I think remembering what it feels like to have something taken away from you when it's not your choice, because that was a really big adjustment. And that also was the first time feeling like I wasn't an athlete anymore because you were in quarantine and weren't doing anything. And it was, I didn't like it. So I think taking that time to focus in on what it really means beyond just playing a sport and what that means to me is something I want to remember and how it feels to get something taken away and think, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that, and kind of leaving it all out there. Right. Well, all right. Heading into our rapid fire segment here. Kenzie, you'll go first for this one. Uh, what is your go-to pregame meal? Uh, I don't really eat before games, but I would probably say a granola bar maybe. Okay. Alexis? A ton of water and a bagel sandwich. <laughs> All right, Taryn. I would say a sandwich as well. All right, Alexis, start with you for this one. What is your favorite memory at Mercier so far? Uh, oh, definitely by far Hearst Day. Every Hearst Day has been phenomenal. Taryn? Uh, yeah, actually last year I remember we had lift in the morning, and right after lift it was Hearst Day, and it was a great day. We all went back to bed. <laughs> I think I was little, the golf team was the only team that missed it last year. So that was kind of depressing. <laughs> and now you guys are making me relive it right now. <laughs> uh, Kenzie, what's your favorite uh, memory of Mercier so far? I would probably say last St. Patrick's Day because it was when we were all told we were going home. So it was like a big weekend of spending time with all our friends and stuff and kind of a good way to spend the year off, especially because we all thought we were coming back in two weeks. And then we didn't. <laughs> Right. All right. So third question here, Taryn, you're up first for this one. Uh, what is your go-to study spot on campus? Um, in the library, um, in the part that looks like Hogwarts. I don't remember the name of the room, but <laughs> I always go there. Kenzie? Right now it's my couch or kitchen table, but if we weren't in a pandemic, I am always in the library on the main floor at one of the tables. All right, two, two votes for the library, Alexis. We're going to make a clean sweep, or you got somewhere else? I got somewhere else, man. Uh, I usually go to Inso. They have that little snack bar there. Right. That's pretty nice. All right, last question, guys. We'll get you out of here. Alexis, we'll start with you. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Super speed. <laughs> answer. He's definitely like, okay, you've definitely gotten that question before. That was quick. That was quick. <laughs> yeah. Kenzie, what are you going with? Teleportation, hands down. These are no, quick answers. This is the quickest. No question, no question in my mind. The idea of walking across campus sometimes is just exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Taryn, what, what superpower would you choose? I would say to be able to fly. All right. I actually, I like those. I mean, those are definitely one of those three, if I had to choose. I, I haven't thought about it that much. I just asked the question, so I'll call for the answer. So, well, yeah, those are three solid ones. Well, all right, guys, thank you for joining me on FaceTime Friday this week. And Mercier's fans, go to Hearst Athletics every week in our social media pages to check out the latest episode of FaceTime Friday. Jack Angelucci signing off, and go Lakers.